Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Thomic. <laughs> Circle. The Craftsman Collective. Okay. Um, it's been a couple of days since since my last recording. I apologize for that. But um, I've been dealing with you know moving stuff. So um, and in that time, it seems that I have been left a couple of presents. I don't know, uh, there was a sign here saying, follow me. Uh, so I, so I, I will do that. Um, but, <laughs> over here, okay, so, <laughs> um, let's go read the signs, and I'll tell you Tell you and show you what has been going on. <laughs> uh, I just logged on and they, they're they talking. Uh, okay, so I had previously, everything that's not netherrack uh, in that, I, I built myself I I intentionally. Um, but Bata decided to upgrade my my area <laughs> uh, he decided to give me a crane and pff, I guess we're sleeping fucking sleeping all that's all we do um, a crane and also he put a bucket of nether lava on my on my roof <laughs> that's fine that's good I might leave it I might <laughs> okay, so there's the crane. Uh, thanks, Bada. I appreciate it. I was thinking about leaving the, the bucket. It looks kind of cool. Uh, oh, what's the sign say? Oh, what? Well, thank you, mysterious person. So, inside here, I've been doing quite a lot of work uh, in my non-recording time. Put in a second story. Uh, this lava is <laughs> additional. And I'll get to everything eventually. I have a lot of stuff going on here. This is all build craft and forestry. Before we get there, let me show you upstairs. Uh, got a nice little staircase inspired by Etho. And it's simply just a second story. There, I mean, there's nothing up here yet except lava. And a nice window. Window to look out of. Uh, as you see here, I've changed my house. I will get into that later. Uh, the roof was like this weird kind of slope, kind of not roof. I didn't like it. Uh, also, I needed a second floor, so I decided that's time. And I got rid of it and changed it. You can see the nice uh, captain's first house there. He doesn't live there anymore. Uh, and then the jazzy pastry fellas. All right, let's go down here. Let me explain what I'm doing here. This is my forge, or I guess now it's my foundry. But I've uh, brought brought a lot of stuff over here. A couple of working materials. And let me go through everything I have here. Um, the reason I have this is because I wanted to produce power. Which is what these red lines do. These red excuse me, uh, power lines. This is my infinite pool with which I have a pump attached here. The pump is from uh, Buildcraft. It is right here. It is a glass tank which is just a bunch of glass. And these tanks are, are everywhere. There's one, there's a couple there. There's a couple there. Um... Uh, so yeah, and then uh, it's it's a glass tank and a mining well, which the mining well is pretty cool. I don't usually use it. It it digs down into the ground beneath it, one. Uh, but to get that, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. 
and then the pump and the pump will stick this little pipe down here automatically and it's going to start sucking up water and that's what these redstone engines are doing now redstone engines can't explode under 99 percent of the conditions they don't explode um and this is pumping the water giving this power pumping the water into the tank um, this is a, a graphical glitch as you can see the water is flowing just fine into it usually this pipe extends out to right about here and it, like it's connecting to it it's just a graphical error same with this i hope i'm really hoping this is a graphical glitch this here is a teleport pipe and you'll see when I first click on it it's it's not connected to anything I own it there's no frequency set or anything but if I do it again uh, you'll see that it's actually set to five and I've labeled it the fermenter oh oh let's not do that um, and I guess this one isn't going to do it until I go update the other ones. But usually this is green. This is a logistics pipe. Let me get my wrench. There's a lot of information. If you don't get it, um, I'll have to explain it slower. Let me go get my wrench real quick. Alright, so I've got my wrench and this is a supplier pipe. Uh, from logistics it is making sure that there is fertilizer and saplings in this fermenter at all times it will request it from the network hey a colk what up bud have some teriyaki pork mustard spicy some stuff nummies oh I have peat. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a logistics pipe. This is an add-on to Buildcraft. This is also an add-on to Buildcraft, technically. Um, this is all Buildcraft related, the, or, or forestry, which is also Buildcraft, really. Um, this red power engine is pumping this wooden pipe grabbing water out of here and piping it two directions into this machine as you see it needs its own water to do to turn into biomass um, but it's also coming up here over this way into this machine which is my carpenter carpenter is what you need to make a lot of your um, forestry things like tree farms well you need the carpenter so you uh, you need it to make things believe me you need it to make these little chip things uh this is my thermiomic nominom fabricator uh it it is just like a crafting bench but it requires power and actually glass that's why there's glass here you put glass right there and when it gets power with the power is off currently it will start to heat up right here and the glass will melt uh, this thing is used for making these it's not that these uh, electron tubes and the other tubes see that's it, it's got glass in it and that's how much glass it takes okay it's a forestry block so and the carpenter requires water as I said so this is biomass um, I can well not there nope. I can put the water away I can actually take out a, a bucket from these tanks if I wanted and put it back and that's what the fermenter makes it's taking these saplings and the fertilizer and turning it into the biomass and I pump the biomass into these tanks here these engines rather so that's why these engines are full of biomass. This is currently in the chamber. This is reserve. And then there's also this spot for lava, which is why I have a, a lava tank here. Um, because bio biogas engines cannot explode, unlike combustion engines and steam engines and 
on the very, very, very rare and special circumstance, these these can't explode. But using them normally, redstone engines cannot explode. You usually, like if they're blinking the orange and red, it's okay. You can leave them like that. Um, also, with these, these will hardly ever get up to orange and red. I think they get up to green and maybe yellow. But um, they require lava to start going. It's it's like a primer for them. It's kind of like diesel engines. They have to warm up before they before they can work, and they cannot overheat. Um, in fact, you want them as hot as you can for them to be as efficient as you can. Um, fuel is conserved. Oh. So that's why I turn them off when I don't need them. I, it does consume a little tiny bit of lava when I turn them on though. So let's turn them on. You'll see they everything starts to pump. Oh, or we or we crash. Either one. Nope, we're good. Okay, so they will immediately get up to green because they consume a little bit of lava. And they are start they are pumping power. That's what that, that line in there is. And it's powering this this guy, which is now working to make some biomass. And also powering these things. So this made liquid glass, as you see. It's got some temperature now. I could turn this on. Um, in fact, I will. Nope, I won't. I need a tin ingot. These are phantom items. They aren't really there. I can click it and it goes away. Uh, so, the main reason I, I got this power going was for outside. For this. This is my tree farm. Um, I, I use it a little bit. Not, not a whole lot. It is currently pushing out items as this is the logger. Now, the logger isn't too expensive requires some diamonds it did require uh, a few diamonds to get this going and some glass and stuff but uh, what it's doing is this logger is connected to the power from inside through this teleport pipe and you see that these teleport pipes do actually work it's just a it's a visual bug which is why they're not they don't connect immediately. So, the logger is is taking these trees as they grow, cutting them, and then piping them out. And it pipes everything that the tree drops. And it pipes it into the logistics network, which then says, uh, the, this is a another supplier pipe. It's saying, keep saplings and humus in there, or however you pronounce it. Um, and in here we've got some of that hummus and some saplings. Exactly 32. It, it keeps 32. And any leftovers go to this this pipe here. I think they're sleeping again. I have a bed in here, I think. They're always sleeping. <laughs> Levin! Hello, Levin. You've got a nice skin update, buddy. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this machine here, this is the Arboretum. There's, uh, as you say, and the sand is produced. What happens is every time a tree grows, <laughs> um, it turns this hummus, hummus into sand. So this is the sand is a an output. It requires this hummus. Um, and this pipe actually, actually requests it automatically, but 
so I don't have to keep crafting it and putting it into my logistics network. I am allowing the logistics network to do it itself. Right here. Ah, uh, yeah, these are these are messed up. That's very unfortunate. Auto crafters receive true. Um so this is a crafting pipe and this is an auto crafting table. In the auto crafting table, I've told it how to make hummus. And then in the crafting table, you click, like we can take the stuff out and it won't know what to do. But when we import it, the logis logistics network now knows that it needs eight dirt and a fertilizer to make eight hummus. And so it, it can do that. And it's hooked up to the network over here via teleport pipe. Let's go try and connect that back up again. I really don't know if that's it's probably a bug. Some of the mods we have on here is a little a little beta. So there are some bugs. Just a couple, but it's not usually too bad. Let's okay, you are now connected. See how it turns green? That means they can talk to each other. And you are now con almost connected, and you are now connected. Excellent. You are almost connected. I need to go look at you. Okay. Uh, let me go fix that pipe real quick. Then we will get to this this trail of, of torches. <laughs> that bucket. What do you think, guys? Should I, should I keep the bucket, or should I get rid of it? My only downside to it is it's netherrack. I'm not a fan of the netherrack. Oh, not, not up here. Um, you. Be connected. Excellent. And die. All right. Next, I would like to talk about enchantments. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> I think they pushed Lemon in there and obsidianized him. Ah, uh, yeah. He fell asleep in... Uh, Might have left the mob spawner on. There was... I think there was a couple mobs there. Anyhow, enchantments. I added these tables here for a reason. I'll tell you in a second. Um, if I right-click this, you will notice right here it says Superior Enchanting System. Well, we've added one more mod. Um, this Superior Enchanting System, uh, it, the reason it has all this blue text is because it, it has kind of a bug right now in the client side and the server side don't talk to each other perfectly. There, we're actually missing a couple of the features of the mod, but that's okay because what we what we get is is nice. Um, we have more bookshelves up here too. That's because the the max enchanting level is no longer 50; it's around 70, I think, with this mod. The mod rebalances and makes enchanting more fun. And how it does that, I'm going to try to explain it. Um, First, let me show you some of the things I've enchanted. I've had this. Uh, this is my just my regular old pick. This is my shovel. Now, it used to be just Unbreaking 3, but I recently added Efficiency 5 to it. Yeah, you can take a previously enchanted tool or thing and re-enchant it. It's telling me I don't have enough levels to re-enchant this item because it's it's already pretty good. I'm going to need a minimum of level 18 just to re-enchant it. So there are some balance checks still in place. You can't just enchant willy-nilly. You still have to grind. Um, so, and every time you do it, you get a chance for another re-enchant. Uh, so this, this bow, I started with power one and then I put it in there and I did it again and it got power three and then I put it in there and did it again and got punch one. 
and the way it works is this crazy sword here oh also it allows unbreaking on some things that didn't previously allow it like um, swords for instance um, okay this sword started out sharpness for fire aspect 2 knockback 2 but I re-enchanted it uh, I think four times I got up to level 46 or so with my mob grinder and then I put it in there and when I did I wish I wish I had some XP to show you. You know what? I can do I could do something little. Just just to just to show you what it looks like. Let's get a um, let's do a shovel. And let's lag a little bit. Okay, that is done. We've got our lag quota for the day. Alright, so we put the shovel in here, and it has one, three, and nine. First off, uh, there's some text, uh, but nine is my current maximum level this bottom one will always be nine or whatever your maximum level and then these two will be random ones in between one and, and your level um, if you put it back in there you'll see that it says slot and max cost one two three so one two three two five nine. Oh, it's gonna because it's okay this is a bad example then normally when I put this in here it was like 46, 28, something else. Um, but it, when I pushed 46, it didn't take all of my levels. What that number, what this number here tells us is how many levels it's actually going to take. So if we do 9, it will take all of my, all of my levels. Um, and I got, for, whoa, I got Fortune 1 on level 9. So if I had more XP, I could try to re-enchant it okay but that allowed me to enchant this I put it in got the 46 yeah <laughs> this is the maximum enchanted sword you could possibly get apparently um, you cannot get more than this and uh, so I put in the sword 46 it took like 12 levels so I went from 46 down to say 34 or something and then I put it in again and did 34. Now, the max level is important for getting better in chance and getting more stuff. The better your um, level, the more in chance you'll get, etc. I guess we'll help him with this. Get some obsidian. I hope this isn't my obsidian that I got from upstairs. Alright, before I forget, there was one little farm out here that I did do. Buildcraft requires a lot of cactus for waterproof pipes. And... Oh, <laughs> the logger must have must have ate these, these logs that I put there. Okay. Oh look, there's some sand. Uh, this is so this is my cactus farm and it's really really simple I've just got cactus um, near get up get up you can't jump okay don't do that near these obsidian uh, buildcraft pipes and the obsidian pipes what they do is if anything contacts it or gets I think within within its square or somewhere around here it sucks it up and puts it into the chest so that's all this is these these cactus grow they break off and then they get sucked up so that's how I have uh, cactus and then you cook it you make green dye and then you turn it into uh, this, this stuff that you put on the pipes that's pretty pretty simple but in here let's go look let's go look upstairs what I did is I renovated my upstairs a little bit I added in a kitchen 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 ah right I'll deal with that in a minute I'll show you show you about that so this is my kitchen nice and open 
uh, window so I can see the sky. Uh, these are my kern and churns and lobaloos. Okay, here is where I'm keeping my food and kitchen stuff now. I've got all my raw ingredients. Oh, there's some seeds in there too. Those don't go in there. That and that don't go in there either. So, here's misc ingredients like bowls and sugar and salt and stuff. And here is uh, stuff that's ready to eat. Let's grab some since since I'm here. I've been eating pie guys pies. They're, they're pretty tasty. Uh, and the seeds go in there. These are seeds that I still need to plant. Um, most of this stuff I don't have yet. So there's that. And then I've got a couple furnaces to cook stuff. So I, that's that's my kitchen. Pretty simple, but in the future I will be making uh, some machines here and there. Like I want to make an automatic dough producer. If we look at the recipe, it's going to require buildcraft and probably logistics pipe. Um, I hate making dough because of this water bucket. And I know you can get water barrels which do stack, thankfully, but I kind of want to try and convince um, convince Birko to enable these buildcraft water cans, which are much easier to make. Um, and you get water cans by putting water in them. There's an automatic machine to do it, so that would help with creating dough a lot quicker. So that's my idea. That's that's what I'm thinking. What do you say? Let's go take a look at this. Uh, I'm gonna take the torches as as I walk. I have not have not seen this yet, so don't know what it is. Uh, there was a sign, I think it's from Cap, Captain Chaos. Uh, the sign said, Your fortune is at hand, or something like that. Follow the arrows, follow the torches. <laughs> so I'm doing that. Let's see if we can just see where it leads us. Jeez. I don't know what, what could possibly be this way. Why do I have to go so far out? I don't know. I don't know. Give me these torches. Cow, you gonna come with me? No, fuck you. Okay. Let's go up here. Oh my goodness, it's such a long ways away. Oh. Oh, I think we're there. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Aww. Aww, look at all this stuff. Uh, it could be a trap, though. And and I don't have my fortune pick on me. I guess that was a hint. Bring your fortune pick. <laughs> well, cool. Alright. Thanks, Cap. Um, I shall... I shall defend this. And I know where it is now. <laughs> Follow the torches. I'll go get my fortune pick. Oh dear. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh. Wait, what am I scared for? I do have some more enchanted things that I that I didn't tell you guys about yet. <laughs> I'll, t I'll show you in a second. I should, I should have left a couple torches. Alright, since I am home, I will show you my new armor. Ooh, you probably saw it before. I went full diamond. Never go full diamond. Um, I've been running out, but I think it's okay. I still got bunches. Uh, let me show you the, the, the armor. I have got Respiration 3, Protection 4, which is really good. Protection 3, which is pretty good. And then Feather Falling 2, Blast Protection 4. Uh, a creeper exploded on me and did no damage. So I think the armor's working. 
Which reminds me, this coming Saturday, um, a little under a week, there will be a live stream event. We'll be live streaming from the server. You should join us. I'll probably do another video announcement a couple days before. Uh, I want to make sure I'm sleeping here. Who's coming up my? Who's coming up my thing? Who is that? Is that a batter? Is that a batter? It's probably sneaking up on me. Oh, he ran it away. <laughs> he ran away. Uh, okay. So yeah, live stream event. We're going to the end. We're going to kill the dragon, which is why I've been trying to enchant this bow. A bow enchant. So there is uh, something I would like to talk to you guys about. Um, it's a little personal, but but not really. Um, really, it's about you guys. So you, as you you probably know, uh, I am. We're, I'm moving soon. Um, I have to move, and uh, as I'm sure is true with everybody, uh, I have to. When you move, I don't know if. If you guys have ever moved, um, let me tell you a little story actually while I collect some red flowers. Ooh, that's 16 of them. Um, growing up, I we my family always kind of led a, a slightly nomadic life. I've always, I've always, uh, we've never stayed in the same home for too long. We're always moving around. And that's just how it was. Like, I kind of like that way. It's it's actually weird to me when people stay in the same same city, or even even more crazy to me, the same house their whole life. That is just absurd in my mind. Um. So I'm not a stranger to moving at all. But. Um, as is with the rest of the world, I'm sure money is extremely tight, uh, and I do get, I do get some money from YouTube, of course, uh, but that goes straight into the server cost, and um, I and actually so I have to use my own money for some of the server costs because it doesn't quite cover it, um, but that's fine. That's that's the choice that I made, and I, I enjoy, I enjoy that. But I wouldn't be talking to you right now here if if I didn't have that server because that's you know that's what I'm on right now. But um, I do feel like I should probably mention that I do accept donations, and I've never I've never been one to ask. I might have said it once before in a in a, a series a long time ago when I when I put the donation button up there but I certainly don't expect anyone to donate if you do I will very much appreciate it because I'm, I'm going to need it coming up real quick uh, but I don't expect anyone to do it it's it's a bonus to me it, it just helps me out that's all um, of course on the other side I understand that uh, not everyone can donate for sure and simply watching my videos and watching or clicking on the ads in the videos actually is what pays my uh, some of my rent. So um, that's one way that you can very easily and free, free for you, uh, help give me give me monies. Uh, but it's up to you. It's up to you guys. I'm gonna do half of these as flower. I want purple. Yes! That's what I wanted. So, flowers I'm going to put back in there. I should plant some. I still haven't seen that any of them have, have grown. I haven't seen any growies yet. I'm going to go plant these red flowers over here. One right there. One right there. See, I've got a couple here, but I, I put all those there. And they're supposed to grow in the rain. That's what I hear. 
so I'm getting purple dye for a reason. I decided it should be time that we go down to the nether again. And I want to put something in my little nether holder space. You'll see what I'm saying in a sec. So for that, I hope I have enough glowstone dust. Oh, it's all over there. Um, I need glass. Oh, this thing. I totally almost forgot about this thing. This is a logistics. It's hooked up to the network. It is a logistics request pipe. Now this thing, Mark II, this is a Mark II. This was expensive. Let me show you how expensive this was. Let me find this pipe real quick, and then I'll, I'll tell you what it does. Oh, so expensive. All right, so a diamond gear. You know how those are made, diamond, gold, and iron, all in one, plus a normal logistics requester pipe, which is two golden gears plus a basic logistics pipe, which is two more golden gears plus a diamond transport pipe which uh, you get eight for two that's not too bad really um, so there are uh, there there are four in like a quarter diamonds in this pipe right here plus uh, 12 gold plus 12 iron so this thing is ridiculously expensive but worth it watch I right click and I have my entire inventory. Everything that is hooked up to a provider pipe down here. Everything that has a provider pipe is showing up here. And I can show crafting. Because remember the crafting pipe? The auto crafting table? I can craft an amount if I wanted. Let's, re let's request one. I requested successfully. So it's it's over there it sent the request it's bringing all the materials to that chest to make that and then all the rest oh that's what it is I need I need another basic logistics pipe that's my problem I just figured out an issue hold on I want to fix this real quick alright so what I'm gonna do is underneath this chest because this is my my tools chest for now I'm gonna use it as my default chest. What's been happening is if something doesn't have a place on the network to go, um, they will pop out of the network and despawn. So I want to put this as my default route. So anything it doesn't know what to do with will pump in there. So that was that was what was going on there. But anyhow, that's that's the requesting pipe. It can make things or gather all my things. Let's request one of those. And whoop. There it is. Uh, it cannot put things back. That's what this is for. Boop, boop. And... That away. Cook some meat. And... Grab some glowstone dust. I gotta go. I gotta make another trip real soon. Alrighty, so here we are in the nether. Someone just sent me a mail. Thank you, someone. Uh, so this is what we will be doing. I want to spruce this this way up. I think it looks like bad. <laughs> um, and this cobblestone is what I am here to lag and look and see. Okay, I'm going to replace this. This is what I'm here for. I brought just, just barely enough. Oh, oh, crazy, crazy pick is crazy. Um, hello, hello. I'm making these. <laughs> I don't think I brought enough glass. Uh, yeah, I need more glass. Uh, 
Um, and I'm putting them here. Like so. And then we will be turning them on. Uh, let's connect it like this. And I need some blocks. Blocky, blocky blocks. Let me get up there. Netherrack needs to needs to be easier. Um, so we want to go on top of it. Like so. And then behind it. Excellent. Let's grab that nether rack. In my my digger's bag. this a little bit. I kind of I kind of broke it slightly. Just a little bit. I don't I don't understand why this looks this way. Oh right, right, right. So we got that and then like that. Excellent. So that is almost ready. Okay, I think that's ready. All we need now is some more of that stuff. Glass. We need glass. Also, uh, I want to mention that Sarah was added to the server. Welcome, Sarah. She is a very recent addition. I don't even uh, haven't seen her house. I didn't know that she already made one of these things. So cool. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what I just did. Look at what what the hell is that? Oh it's because I have a mail. I've seen this before. Oh Oh I'm freaking out. Oh I'm freaking out. Let's just get this stuff. Stop it. Okay. Oh still going. That's too much. A man should not a man should not be able to see that. I don't know what I just saw. I think I think I'm cursed now. Doomed to forever see through x-ray things. Oh let's just finish this. Oh, oh I'm sick. I'm gonna throw up. Let's finish this. And then and then I can go throw up. Come on, just there we go. Yeah. Yep. Almost there. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go through. Bam! <laughs> All right. Now we have to turn it on. And I don't like the the way this looks. Till you would. Just don't like it. I do have a lever for such a purpose. Let's find a will that work? Nope. How about there? Nope. Oh no! I'm breaking your shit. Give me my lever. Thank you. This is this is troublesome. Oh, right here. Put it right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, this 
this is not... This is not a good entrance. I want to redo this. I'll have to do this later, though. Uh, okay, let's see how it looks. <laughs> Mine's the best. Mine's the best, everybody. Suck it. <laughs> Alright, guys. That is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll be again. We'll be back again next time. Later.